Namaskaram Sadhguru. Uh, recently, the Sadhana Pada program was announced, which involves being in the ashram for six months. I have a few friends who are interested in this. Could you please elaborate a little more on what this involves? See, uh, many of your friends, whoever they are, they may not be ready for twenty-four hours sadhana for six months. So we will structure it according to individual needs, we will look at them and decide. Maybe first one month everybody will go through a common practice, but after that we will decide who should go through how much. Sadhana is not just sitting eyes closed and doing something. Sadhana is also learning to work. Sadhana is also learning to move among people with least amount of friction. It's very important. You may be meditating as much as you want, but if you're all thorns on the outside and move around, uh, the other people will make sure your meditation doesn't work after some time. <laughs> Don't underestimate those people <laughs> Yes, do not underestimate the people around you. If you walk around with thorns all the time, I'm a meditator like this, uh, they will make sure your meditation doesn't work after some time. So, sadhana is also about moving in the world with least amount of friction. I've said this many times. In the Far East Asian cultures, an enlightened being is always referred to as an enchi. Enchi means a circle. The wheels of your cars and every other vehicle is round in shape. Why? Because it's a shape which moves with least amount of resistance. A triangular wheel would definitely be far more jazzy. Hello? Just look at your car, how it would look. But least amount of resistance. So this is very important that when you walk about in the world, you move with least amount of resistance. Otherwise, outside situations will occupy you for the rest of your life. If you create little friction here, you will see this friction will keep you occupied for the rest of your life. 
it will not allow you to focus on anything else. So sadhana also means this, so they will volunteer in various aspects, they will serve in the schools, they will go and work with the rivers, they will do many things, but all of it used as a sadhana for your growth in six months' time. In your body, you must be stronger and younger. In your mind, you must be sharper and much more stable. In your emotions, you must be very lucid. In your energies, you must be intense and stable. We want to bring these kind of people to the world. These are not people who are going to come and live in the ashram forever, but we want to open the doors of ashram so that six months of being here, when they go back, they must go back as much more stable and clear and wise life. It's very important. Clarity and stability, these two things are vital to human life, that you see things clearly and you're stable. Stability is one thing or lack of stability is one thing which is costing humanity tremendously. So much intelligence, so much talent, so much genius is all down the drain simply because people don't have stability, no balance. Above all, balance is most important. When you have balance, you have freedom. You know you're riding your bicycle for the first time. You can't do a thing. But you're well balanced, your hands free, riding around, you can whistle and do all this on the bicycle, isn't it? Hello? Balance gives you freedom. That is so with your mental nature, with your uh, mind, with your body, with your energies, everything. If this is balanced, it gives you enormous freedom to do things, to do your life the way you want it. So we want to see that people who are working in large businesses, people who are in the government, people who are in important positions, take this six-month break and invest upon their own growth, clarity and balance. If these two things happen, we will have better human beings and a better world for sure. So this is what this sadhana pada is about and uh, some of them were asking me, but if I want to take a break from my corporation, will you give me a certificate? I'll give you a certificate, what's… what's the problem with a piece of paper, hmm? <laughs> I never collected any of my certificates ever, but it didn't mean anything to me. But if it means something to your corporation, we will write a certificate for you, what is the problem? But the important thing is, have you brought little more clarity and balance into your life? This is important. How effective a life you will be is essentially determined by what is the level of clarity you have and how much balance you have. This will allow you the freedom to traverse this life as you wish. Otherwise, naturally you will lock yourself up in your box. Without the necessary energy, being aware <laughs> is extremely difficult. That is why the sadhana, the yogic practices, to stir up the energy. What awareness has to do with the intensity of energy? Well, if you need an analogy, it's like the voltage control. If a light bulb is on, Voltage is low, it sheds just a spot of light. So whatever is there, only that much you see. If you increase the voltage, it brightens up and you will see little more. If you increase the voltage full on, then you see the whole room. Life is just like this. Everybody is seeing life, perceiving life, experiencing life only to the extent their awareness allows them. And this awareness is essentially determined by what is the effervescence of your energy, what is the intensity of your energy, and how much can you hold for how long. 
this will not come simply like that. By natural exuberance, certain human beings, certain individuals may have little more energetic capability than the other, but they can easily lose it just with the simple process of life. If not with tragedies of life, out of sheer boredom and monotony of daily work and stuff that happens around you, you could slowly lose your energies. Well, this has happened to most human beings, <laughs> you see how exuberant and joyful and full of energy you were when you were five, six years of age. You just can't control yourself. Even now if you have children, you see this. Well, you're falling dead in the night, but uh, they are still bursting with energy. So most of you were like this, but over a period of time, because you're carrying the planet on your head. You know, people are asking me these days, Sadhguru, how do you ride a 350 kilogram motorcycle? I keep telling them, I don't carry it on my head, I just ride it. <laughs> you don't carry the planet, you just ride it. You don't carry this life or cosmos upon your head, you just ride it. That's all it is. The question is not in what state of life are you placed in, in what economic bracket are you in, that's not the point. If you keep your life energies at a certain level of exuberance and effervescence and create a balanced platform of body and mind, your awareness will naturally rise. It's just like increasing the voltage of a bulb and you will see everything that you need to see. Everything that's worth knowing can be known by a human being if only if you steadily maintain a certain level of exuberance of energy. Let's make it happen. You need some yoga. This is what inner engineering means, this is what yoga means, this is what sadhana means. You do the necessary work to ensure that your energy is constantly exuberant, but this exuberance can be maintained only if you have a balanced platform of physiological and psychological framework. Karpur Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendraharam Sadhavasantam Hridayaravindhe Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Karpur Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendraharam Sadhavasantam Hridayaravindhe Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami Karpur Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendraharam Sadhavasantam Hridayaravindhe Bhavam Bhavani Sahitam Namami
Sit in a cross-leg posture and keep your hands open, facing upward. Sit with your face slightly upturned. The moment you sit this way with a slightly upturned face, you will see naturally your focus will shift between your eyebrows. So maintain this mild focus between your eyebrows. As uh, I utter these two sentences, with inhalation you take this thought, I am not this body. With exhalation, I am not even this mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the mind. I am not the body. I am not even the 
the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. I'm not the body. I'm not even the mind. Uh. closed and just sit still with your face slightly turned upward.
Slowly, very slowly, open your eyes. <laughs> 